Okay, so I know you guys want to do chemistry and alkenes all night, but um, I have some tests to grade. So this will be the last problem that we do. Um, very similar to the other ones. How do you make this compound, this chloral hydrate, from an alkene? So um, cyclohexene is the only alkene that would be able to be used to synthesize this of course. So you're going to have to add the hydroxyl substituent and the chloride, chlorine on there. So how would you do this? If you recall, Cl2H2O. Okay. So we can do the mechanism too. So Cl2 Remember it looks like that when it gets into the presence of a alkene, it's going to um, make this have a instantaneous dipole, right? So this um, chlorine will be kind of partially positive, that one will be partially negative, and that'll induce that alkene to attack it. Okay, once that happens, these two steps happen at the same time. Okay, so all of those really happen at the same time. Concerted reaction. And so, what are we going to get? We're going to get that chloronium ion. We're also going to get Cl minus, so the chloride ion. And remember, this is in a solvent of water, so there's a ton of water, there's a lot of it, relative to the little bit amount of Cl that's in there. So water's going to see this three-membered ring, and remember, three-membered rings are very unstable already. Chlorine, being very big and bulky, doesn't mind having... Um, you know, are, is very big and bulky, and these carbons don't like having that uh, strain on that ring. So this is going to see the opening, right, and come in and attack, knocking that bond out like that. So you get the protonated water there, or the protonated um, alcohol, hydroxyl group, from water attacking. And then remember, of course, we've got a lot of other water molecules out there. So that's going to remove that proton. And give you your final product. Plus H3O plus, which you'll wash out of the reaction. Okay. So that's it for the night.